Okay, go down, scroll. It's a way we keep workshop. Okay, so that's about the content which you can add into the system, the interactive content. So all of those are under 1732, right? So you'll have to, those can be cap captured under the three, three and two. Okay, so you can see those. So now regarding the resources, this one is basically similar to the smart two. Okay, so you have the book, which is PDF book. You can add, you can add file, which is your lecture note. You have, you can add a folder which contains a series of lecture note, LMS content package. I don't think we use this. This is basically when you are working with two university and you can share the LMS system with the other university. Like some, uh, some of the programs which you use, uh, like two uh, collaboration between two university, you can use the LMS package from other university in our system. Okay, but we don't have that here. So you have labels. Okay. Do you all use label in your uh, course? No. You, uh, the label is basically a very good way to visually separate out content. For example, in our label, right? So we'll create a label one, create a label. So the label will say, for example, wait, we just wait for that. So for example, you create a label saying, this is your lecture note, okay? And then you can clone the label in all the place, lecture note. So this is your lecture note. So when the student sees, for example, section one, they know that there's a le this is your lecture note. So they are familiar with that label of lecture note. Because this is very important. When the student is interacting with their system, right? Because we are human and that is an interface. If we see something which is common throughout the module, it becomes easier for us to basically interact with the system. So if you create labels, you can separate out the notes. So save and return to the course. So this will be our label, which is saying this is your lecture note. And below the below this label, you can put in your actual lecture note. Okay, so you repeat that, you clone it throughout your lecture. So these are your lecture notes. So you can put uh, this is your lecture note, and this is your activity content. So you can split it into two sections. Okay, so label will allow you to split the section into lecture note and activity. So the student knows that's a lecture note, that's activity. Otherwise they are not aware because the icon, like because of the interface, we don't interact well with the system unless we are prompted by the system that there's a label there. Okay, the label can actually be changed in your color. You can put the label below, so you can actually edit this label. You can change the color, you can edit it. Edit settings, okay. You can put in a color. Takes time, everything. The color, the uh, mark, the mark the lecture note, bold, bold it, bold, bold. And then you uh, the varna varna. The color is there. Okay, so add the color. English, you can add. Bold it, and the color is there. The colors will uh, mark it, mark, mark it, mark it. Okay, then you select the color. You have the highlight, highlight and color. Where's the color gone? We have taken out the color function. Okay, so you can underline or something. Underline it. Uh, mark it Zul, just mark, mark first, and then you s you scroll over those, the T, T, oh, it's not marking, huh? wait, is it slow, it's loading, not loading, okay, not loading, loading what, loading, okay, underline, that's it, earlier we could highlight it in the earlier system, okay, save, 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 save. So when you see your label, right, it will appear on topic three. So you'll have lecture assessment, lecture assessment. You can put it in your topic list. It will come. Takes time, though. I'm right, the system. accessing out simultaneously bandwidth
Mm, yeah. Oh yeah, oh plug in. So then how we extract the information of HP? You have to ask the developer.